In today's Houdini 19 tutorial, we will create this cool uh, motion graphics effect using only three nodes. Is it possible to get down to two? I don't know. Maybe it is. Haven't discovered it yet, but today I'll show you how to create this effect using just one, two, three notes. No lies, no exaggerations, three notes, okay? <clears throat> okay, let's begin from scratch. So I'm just gonna turn the construction plane on and let's start with a grid. Great, and let's double click to go inside the geometry node. And let's make the grid say uh, 32 by 32. Next, we're gonna create uh, an attribute noise. So tab, uh, noise, and choose attribute noise. And you can actually, using an attribute noise, you can both uh, create the attribute and apply noise to it. So I'm just gonna connect it and click on the display tag and there's a noise. Now we wanna animate it, so click on animation and animate noise. And you have different choices of uh, uh, noise patterns. I'm just gonna pick, um, I believe Perlin actually loops, but you can't really see it too well. Okay, let's just use uh, Simplex. Uh, you can adjust the size. And I'm gonna make uh, the attribute class a primitive. Just hit play. And we can increase the amplitude here. Okay, the final stage is hit tab and add a poly extrude. And I'm gonna connect it in. Highlight the poly extrude. And let's just apply some distance and choose individual elements. Now, in the local controller attributes tab, for distance scale, we're gonna use CD, which we just created. Uh, CD is basically, in Houdini, CD is color. It's a vector consisting of RGB values, pretty simple. And if we click play, we have an interesting animation. So now we can use Houdini's procedural nature and we can basically tweak the noise. So. Here I can choose Perlin, the noise changes, I can choose fast, it doesn't animate. Uh, we've got the cellular, cellular noise. Uh, you can slow it down using pulse duration. Got Manhattan, okay, that's a bit more prettier, I guess. Uh, we can adjust the size. Pretty cool. And we can adjust the amplitude. Wow, Rainbow Valley. Here we go. So yeah, I mean, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Uh, one final, I'm gonna add a fourth node. This is optional. Uh, I'm gonna add a bevel. I think actually maybe we can do this in poly extrude. I don't know yet. Again, okay, I'm just gonna connect it up. And here in the poly extrude, I'm just gonna say, um, I'm gonna click front group. So that basically, when you check front group, it basically creates a group that includes uh, the kind of caps of uh, these uh, extruded polygons. So now in poly bevel, I can go to group, extrude front, and apply the bevel just to the tip of these uh, extruded polygons. And I can add divisions here. As you can see, it just adds an, a nice kind of nice bevel. Uh, it just gives it that kind of extra finesse. So there you have it.